girl, I'm in the kitchen making some ginger. From work to work, I leave my regular job and I come to the kitchen and start making some ginger. I've never met somebody without, without a hand. I know they are there, but I have never met one before. I've met me, Lydia. On March 5th, I had a show, um, the International Food Show in Jacob Jarvis Convention Center, where I was gonna um, do an exhibition of my product. I was looking for something big to come out of, of the, what I was doing. It was about 8.30 or so in the evening. My nephew was doing the molding of the, on the other side. So she kept telling me, mommy, this machine is not working right. I'm trying to troubleshoot. The bag, because it's a rolling bag, the bag just dropped on top of my head, trying to figure out how to get the bag out. The machine just go on a uh, motor speed. Grab, you know, grab my hand. And by that time I was yelling for my nephew, come and help me, come and help me, you know, my hand. Then I yelled to them, call 911. It took them over 30 minutes before they could release my hand from the machine. By that time, I knew I was done. I am a left-hander and that was the worst day of my life. Uh, Lydia Gray suffered a severe traumatic injury to her left hand and left wrist uh, when she was working at a business of hers that she's very passionate about. She was emergently taken to Jersey Shore Medical Center where I was on call and was asked to come in to see her. She had suffered a severe traumatic crushing and burning injury to the left hand that created an incredible amount of both soft tissue as well as nerve and bone damage. Unfortunately, we weren't able to save Lydia's hand as there was no opportunity to reconstruct the injury that she had suffered and we ended up having to move forward with a procedure known as a transradial amputation. It just uplifted me to say, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. We made that decision right there and then to say, you can, you can take the end of the next day. You know, I'm gonna be okay. We decided to move forward with a transradial amputation and targeted muscle reinnervation. In patients who have had amputation injuries, traditionally the nerves that function to the areas that have been lost, such as the hand or the wrist, are often severed and they are left, for lack of a better term, as frayed wires that are sort of injuring and, and hurting all of the structures around them. They can cause patients a significant amount of pain and lead to something known as phantom limb syndrome where the patients feel the limb that was once present to be consistently there and consistently painful for them. Through the use of this new procedure known as targeted muscle reinnervation, we can actually reroute the nerves and move them to areas of the extremity in which they don't cause the patients the same amount of pain because they don't work as frayed electrical wires. What's really incredible about upper extremity targeted muscle reinnervation or TMR, it can actually make the power of the eventual prosthetic device or the replacement hand or replacement arm even more functional than it would be otherwise. The prosthetics environment has really tremendously advanced in recent years and we have opportunities to leverage technology in the form of what's called pattern recognition prosthetic devices. The prosthetic would pick up the signals that those muscles provide uh, to the prosthetic. Dr. Shah called her and said, Alta, I have a patient who I think I'm gonna be amputated. How can you help her out? So Alta knew about me that night and working with Alter in therapy, they helped me tremendously. We're, we're already, we already think that this is a major victory uh, for what happened to you, so, but I wanna make sure that you know that there's, there's all this stuff out there uh, for you, especially as you sort of become uh, more of a, you know, like more of a spokesperson in some way <laughs> for you, because you, you might find that something that you weren't ready for months ago both you know, mentally as well as physically, you might find that maybe you're more ready for it as time goes on. 
the only thing that will give me um, the ultimate satisfaction is if I could see what gives me, what lets me with one hand on the shelves of supermarkets. As you can see from a number of the videos and activities that Lydia can perform, she is a real inspiring story of recovery and regeneration, making a tragedy into something that she is now able to get back to work, get back to her hobbies, and perform a lot of independent functional activities uh, that she wouldn't have been able to do without her dedication to the process.